so today we are going to be learning about coagulus test so before we start with the procedure uh, let us see what is coagulus test so this coagulus test is used to differentiate the staphylococcus aureus which produce the enzyme coagulus from staphylococcus epidermis and staphylococcus saprophyticus which do not produce coagulus that is coagulus negative staphylococcus in short we call it as a um, CONS cons now the principle of this coagulus test is coagulus is an enzyme like protein and causes plasma to clot by converting fibrinogen to fibrin staphylococcus aureus produces two form of coagulus that is a bone and free so this bone um, coagulus it causes clot formation of the plasma by converting soluble fibrinogen to insoluble fibrin and this bone coagulus can uh, rapidly be recognized by the slide test method. Now, in free coagulus, it converts fibrinogen to fibrin by activating the coagulus um, reacting factor and it can be detected by the tube test method. So, to perform this coagulus test, we are going to be needing the reagents and materials such as gas lights, tu test tube then the inoculating loop applicator stick or mixing stick and also most importantly normal saline and the specimen now the specimen human or rabbit plasma with um, edta is diluted in one is to five with normal saline so uh, in coagulus we have two methods that is the slide method and tube method so firstly we will be discussing on the slide method so to perform this slide method we have to take a clean grease-free glass light and then divide it into two sections using a marker or a glass light then we have to draw a circle on the underside of the slide designating the area where the test will be performed now you have to label one as p and other for the uh, normal saline control now place a drop of normal saline on each end of a slide or on two separate slides it depends on you if you want to use two slides you can use if you don't want to use two slides you can just divide the portion now with the help of the inoculating loop or a straight fire or a wooden stick emulsify a portion of isolated colonies or a single colonies it depends on the colony you are going to pick up from the plate in each drop to make a thick uh, suspension now uh, when you make a um, when you have either the um, colonies in the normal saline the emulsified colonies should look milky white in color then after that you have to add a drop of human or rabbit plasma to one of the suspension and you have to mix gently you have the next step is you have to look for clumping of the organism within 10 seconds but remember you should not observe for more than like after 10 seconds because it might give you a false positive result so try to um, look for the clumping within the 10 seconds not no plasma is added to the second suspension this is to differentiate any granular appearance of the organism from true coagulus uh, clumping also uh, one important thing the section of the test without plasma should still look milky if this section also develop clump then the result cannot be interpreted and also uh, and such strength should be further test with the tube coagulus method now we will discuss on tube test so for the tube test you are going to need three um, test tube First, in the first procedure, you have to dilute the plasma 1 in 10 in normal saline. Then you have to take 3 small test tubes and label as P test, P positive control and N negative control. Then the test should be from 18 to 24 hours blood culture. Then the positive control should be from 18 to 24 hours staphylococcus aureus um, blood culture and negative control is the Sterile broth. Now you have to pipe it 0.5 ml of the diluted plasma into each tube. Then add uh, 5 drops of the test organism to the tube labeled the 
5 drop of cephalococcus aureus culture to the tube level B and 5 drop of sterile blood to the tube level M. So after mixing, you have to incubate the three tubes at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius in the incubator. Then please don't get mixed up with incubator and hot air oven. Then also you have to examine for the clotting after one hour. If no clotting has occurred, you have to examine in 30 minutes that after the interval for up to six hours. Now for the interpretation, here in the image I have given for the slide as well as for the tube. So in the slide method, if there is um, no clump, it indicates that the organism does not have an enzyme coagulase present in them. So um, it can be re so it can be reported as a negative. And if there and here as test sample in the positive as test sample forms clump, it can be reported as a coagulase positive and which uh, which suggests that there is a presence of the uh, and the coagulase enzyme in, in the uh, coagulase enzyme is present but if you still have a doubt uh, about this negative and positive control you can always uh, test the strain um, you can always perform a confirmatory test by the tube test method so here in the tube test method um, image the positive one if if uh, <coughs> the positive one in the bracket sh shows the clot and whereas in the negative it shows no clot so if if it is positive uh, coagulase tube it is indicated by the form of a stable clot here you can see or a coagulant which is visible by slightly tilting the tube but if the test is negative after uh, incubation for four hours or six hours uh, see you can see in the negative here there is no uh, stable clot or coagulant even if uh, uh, coagulant so in this in this case of negative tube you have to re-incubate for uh, in room temperature for 18 hours again so after incubation of 18 hours still if there is no formation of a coagulant then the uh, test strain can be reported as a negative uh, coagulus test